Okay, this search is a is, is a land and property search. Now, typically I would break them up into two separate searches if it was a higher dollar amount. But for this one, since it's under 100,000, um, I'm just going to do it both and see what comes up. We really don't want more than 50 results coming back from a search. Okay, so um, to do both of it, we're going to do really um, cross property, which means all property quick search. Okay. And this lady wants to be 30 miles from Greenville. So I'm going to put uh, the Greenville in here. And this is so I can get my map search in if I didn't know where Greenville was. And I'm only going to search active and active kickout. So I'm going to, I'm going to ax those out. She doesn't care about she's a, uh, the size of the lot. Uh, it all based on price so we're going to just do residential and acreage the how i get those two selected i hit the control and hold it down and 139 matches under a hundred thousand right so now we're down to 18 matches we're looking pretty good okay um so i have some things here lot description i don't really need they, they didn't give me any type of restrictions or anything on this okay um so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and let's do the map search. So once we have, we can see that we don't have a gazillion matches here. We can go ahead and do the map search. We'll go from criteria to map and we'll kind of move here. And so what I want to do is I'm going to go into the draw radius and I'm going to go from Greenville. Let's go dead center. And they said what? 30 minutes. So that's probably about 20 miles. Okay. Typically, they say an hour, I'll do like 45, 50 miles, something like that, okay? Because we have lights and things. So we're, you know, we're pretty good right here, right? My criteria is still in, it's within this, but I have a sub-criteria within Greenville. I'm going to go back to criteria, remove Greenville, and now I have 129 matches. That's a lot. That's a lot, okay? So... Um, okay, so I do, um, let's see, let's see this. She wanted water, didn't she? She wanted utilities. So let me pause this. I'm going to search for utilities. Okay. Um, uh, I was on or, so we got street utilities. So we, we want, instead of searching everything with city services, so we want to, we don't want, okay. Um, Hey, no, no services. Okay. So we don't want no city services, or should say no city services. Okay. And that will reduce it to 100 nothing. Okay. And then let's see, no sewer, no water. Let's see what happens there. 122, wow. Okay. So, or seven. All right. So they all have some type of water. So I'm not even going to do this, okay? I'm just going to uh, oh, leave it as or. It's everything selected. 122. Typically, 129. Oh, well, let's do that. Let's let, let's just reduce it for a little bit, okay? So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say, and that's not a lot. So I'm, I'm actually, since this lady sounds like she has a lot of time on her hands, um, I'm going to go ahead and do not, uh, no city, no sewer, no water. That's the double negative. So it means there is city or there is sewer or there is water. Okay. That's where we're at. Here are my results. And then I can set up an auto email for this particular client. And um, I can do that right here. So let's, let's go ahead. So you want to select on all. So we'll select all these. And then we're going to save new auto email okay and as we spoke um well we well, i'm going to create a new contact because i know she's not in here and i'm going to put her name so i'll fill all this out let me pause so this doesn't get too long okay so now i have everything in here that it's necessary i've updated my specific criteria so i want to copy just a specific criteria nothing more control c and we have the welcome email which welcomes them okay 
And then we have the reoccurring email. Now you can always change this and it's still going to go back to the one you've already set up. So on my next uh, client, it's going to go back again to the welcome email that was the original one I updated again. But this one, it'll send out a welcome email and then it'll send out a reoccurring email based on any type of updates to the property. Now you want to make sure, and here's my signature. You can edit your signature. Okay. This will stay the same. And if you actually hit edit, uh, you, oh, cancel. That's my edit signature. Uh, where, oh, settings right here. Uh, you could say set current message is my default reoccurring email text. I don't know why I say email text. Oh, to text. Okay. So that's what I hit. And it will set it to whatever I put in here and continue to bring that up. Both real welcome and reoccurring. Okay. Your signature you've already set up. And then um, here's what you definitely want to make sure you do. Okay. Show this in reverse prospecting. Good. And then you want it daily. Do not do ASAP or they will get an email every moment of the day, especially with 122. Okay. If it is a very important property, let's say it's a single property and you want them to be notified immediately that the status has changed and you put ASAP, but that's going to be on one property. Okay. Or if it's a really tight market and there's only a couple properties in that neighborhood, then you want to do ASAP. Okay. But daily is good enough for this. Okay. It's all set across the board in the AM. And guess what? When I hit save, it's going to go send that message out. And then it's also going to see created auto email and it's going to send all these out to her. And then uh, it's going to send out a daily recurring email. All right. I do want to go back in my follow-up boss and let her know um, that I sent the uh, the email. Be looking forward in her email box and uh, my contact details.